it becomes a term all the way along with people who started at the beginning and have been doing it for a long time, that there are things called Camino Angels. And it's kind of similar to the abundance and food thing. Um, it's like just when you need something, someone shows up with it. Or they show up with the knowledge to help you overcome whatever it is you're trying to overcome. I had my own angel. Uh, his name was Cyril, and I met him on the first day when I was walking up that unbelievable mountain. Uh, he was sitting having a cup of coffee, and we stopped and talked. He was from Ireland, and he was doing the Camino for the third time. He, he actually decided to walk it backwards this time. And just great conversation. He took some pictures for me. I bid him adieu and headed off because I had so much to get done ahead of me. And. I got about halfway to where I wanted to go and I couldn't go anymore. I knew I couldn't go anymore. I knew I couldn't take another step. When, when you look at the map and you see how far, you, I knew I couldn't do that. And I had read a book before I left about a guy who had walked the Camino three times. And he learned on the first two that a lot of people get up early and race to the next place because they're afraid they're not gonna have a bed. And he decided that he thought that was ridiculous and a lot of people were losing the entire, what the Camino is all about, giving up the journey to try to get to the destination. So he decided to pack a tent, a little three pound tent. And I thought that makes sense to me. I don't wanna have to race anywhere, that's for sure. So I did pack a little tent. So I'm up on a mountain. There are sheep behind me, a whole herd of sheep and shepherds and just, beautiful mountain scenery ahead of me and I'm just kind of sitting there by myself thinking, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I can't go any further. I'm going to have to put this tent up right here. I'm gonna have to hope I'm safe. I'm gonna have to hope it's not against the law. I'm gonna have to just do this. And I look over to my right and there's Cyril. And he had, he was taking a little cart with him actually that he hooked to his waist and he had a bunch of stuff on it. And he sees me and he waves and he comes over and I look around a little corner and there's his tent already set up. And he had a cook stove and food. I didn't have enough food because I thought I was going to get to my point B that day. And that's when I was going to eat. And we shared a meal and we shared coffee. He actually went and saved this other little German couple that he had seen earlier. Um, and he was just, he was my little Camino angel that night. He made me feel safe. He made me feel like it was okay because this was his third time. And I never saw him again, but I'm so grateful he was there that night.